Hello students, how are you all dear? So guys, once again, a very, very warm welcome to your very, very own channel. Let's crack neat UG in English. Myself, Shada Alok. I've been teaching chemistry at Resonance from past 10 years. And guys, 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 today's session is to the next series started by me. That is discussion of previous years question. So today we are going to discuss previous years questions of chemical bonding. Can you see the link over here? Through this link, you can join us on Telegram. Come on, guys. Let me tell you how you can get connected to us. First of all, go to Play Store, download an Academy Learning app, and then click on to need to use and go ahead for the subscription. You'll be getting two type of subscription there on the screen, plus subscription and the iconic one. Let me tell you first of all about plus subscription guys you'll be getting daily live classes from the top educators across the nation not only that you can chat with your educator engage in discussion ask all your doubt and answer in the poll all while the class is going on you'll be getting live test and quizzes which will help you to evaluate your preparation with regular mock tests and quizzes and you are going to get detailed analysis of your performance you'll be getting structured course and all our courses are structured very much in line with the exam syllabus which will definitely help you to prepare for it so all by having one subscription you get access to all our live and recorded courses which you can watch from the comfort of any of your devices now, guys, this is all about iconic subscription, which will definitely take your neat UG preparation to the next level with personal coach. The top educators across the nation will be your personal coach. You are going to get one-on-one -on -one guidance from top exam expert as a personal coach in order to align your preparation strategy. Guys, you'll be getting proper in-depth test analysis with personalized feedback in order to improve your time management and, of course, exam approach. Come on, you'll be getting a proper study planner. It is going to ace your preparation. Yes, guys, you are going to get a wonderful customized study plan that will that will also come up with the along with bi-weekly review that will definitely highlight your progress. So all by having one iconic subscription you get live classes from top educator mock test and quizzes structured batch courses very much in line with exam syllabus okay guys let me tell you how much you will have to pay if you want to go for iconic subscription but before that let me tell you the questions coming in your mind yes you must be wondering whether to go for plus subscription or the iconic one you need to remember guys whatever whatever you are going to get under plus subscription you'll be getting all that under iconic subscription along with iconic features like personal code study planner expert guidelines and in-depth test analysis come on guys you need to select a subscription plan that suits you so let me tell you guys how much you'll have to pay for iconic subscription first of all you can go ahead for six months 12 months and 24 months subscription for six months you'll have to pay 38,000 for 12 months you'll have to pay 65,000 for two years you'll have to pay one lakh but if you apply this referral code of mine s 8 and you'll find that you need to pay only 34,200 for six months 58,500 for 12 months yes guys 90,000 for 24 months which is going to cost you only 3,750 rupees per month come on all this six month 12 months and 24 month subscription are also available at no cost emi have a look at the screen guys yes this is all about plus subscription guys right from one month three months six months 12 months and 24 months subscription you can go ahead with for one month you'll have to pay seven thousand for three months you'll have to pay seventeen thousand five hundred for six months you'll have to pay twenty eight thousand for 12 months you will have to pay thirty eight thousand five hundred for two years you'll have to pay fifty six thousand which is going to cost you two thousand three hundred and thirty three rupees per month come on guys all the six months 12 months and 24 months subscription here also like whether you go for plus subscription or you go for iconic one yes 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 is you can get this at no cost emi as well come on once you apply this referral code of mine you'll find that you will have to pay even lesser amount guys for one month you'll have to pay only 6300 for three months you'll have to pay 15750 for six months you'll have to pay 25200 for 12 months you'll have to pay 34650 and for two years you'll have to pay 50400 which is going to cost you only 2100 rupees per month so guys don't delay any longer do stay, do take the subscription so that you can start your preparation in order to ensure your 
selection. Remember, whether you want to go for plus subscription or the iconic one, you'll be getting the six month, 12 months and 24 month subscription at no cost EMI. Have a look at the screen, guys. This batch is started on December 21st. Pehel batch, guys. This is basically a crash course for NEET 2021. If you really want to prepare your medical entrance examination with top educators, guys. So here are your educator going to mentor you guys. Pankaj sir, Pradeep sir, Ashish sir, S, Dr. S.K. Singh sir, Shaurabh Sarma sir. This has started on 21st of December. Do join this in order to ensure your selection. Okay guys, come on. The Pahal batch will be taken care by Dr. S.K. Singh sir, Pankaj sir, Pradeep sir, Ashish sir, Saurabh Sharma sir. Do join this batch. Come on guys, let us start with the very first question. Under this, yes, today's session is on discussion of previous questions of chemical bonding. Do share the link of the session to all your friends, all your friends who are preparing for NEET 2021-2022 KVPY and board examination. Don't delay any longer. Do share the link and all those who are watching, do like it. And all those who have not subscribed the channel, let's crack NEET huge in English. Do subscribe the channel, do press the bell icon. Come on, let us see the very first question. The hybridization of atomic or vitals of nitrogen in NO2 plus, then NO3 minus, then NH4 plus. Let us discuss this one by one. Come on, guys. The best way to find out hybridization is to know the steric number. And I am going to give you on the screen the easiest trick over here. Guys, nitrogen. How many valence electron it will have if it is having a plus charge? Four. Remember, four. Simply draw the Lewis symbol. Just note down the steps I am following. First of all, how many valence electron on nitrogen is possible with NO2 plus? Guys, this plus charge will be there on nitrogen, but if it is minus, that has to go on oxygen. Remember, that is the that is the logic behind this magic. Okay, come on, have a look at the screen. Now, now guys, attach oxygen. You know that oxygen, the valency of oxygen is simply add donate this two electron to this oxygen by formation of a double bond same here do you find any lone pair of electron present on nitrogen no straight away go ahead for calculation of steric number which is equal to sum of pi bond and sum of lone pair here pi bond sorry main kind of not i'm, I'm really sorry guys here here, pi bond won't be there. Sum of sigma bond. I'm really sorry. Sum of sigma bond and number of lone pair. There are two sigma bonds over here and lone pair is zero. Therefore, steric number is two. Come on, steric number is two, guys. Steric number is two. Remember, guys, if steric number, if steric number, guys, if it is two, hybridization is sp. Steric number is 3, hybridization is sp2, steric number 4, hybridization sp3. If steric number is 5, hybridization sp3d, steric number 6, hybridization sp3d2, steric number 7, hybridization sp3d3, remember. Remember guys, 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 one more thing. If steric number 4, it can also be d sp2 square planar square planar but that is actually discussed specifically under d block element come on guys the best way to get connected to to the live class or best way to get uh, uh, you know most out of a live class is to get connected to the class and that will happen only when you are there on the screen mentally okay take a pen and copy in your hand and try to solve the question to answer in the chat box. That's very nice. Many of you have done so. That's really nice of you all, guys. Come on, do this on the screen. Come on, have a look on the screen and ensure that you are not getting disturbed by anything around you. Take a pen and copy and try to solve this before me and give your answer in the chat box. The best way to get most out of a live class is to practice this. Come on, have a look at the screen now. So, guys, here, steric number is 2. Remember, 
therefore the hybridization of this one is sp done now let us look for no3 simply guys nitrogen has five valence electron draw its lewis symbol then complete the valency of oxygen done there are one more like three oxygen are there guys that one minus charge will this one oxygen with a negative charge means it needs only one electron to complete its octet so guys the fifth electron is being given to it's been given to oxygen so nitrogen has no lone pair calculate the steric number of nitrogen here guys there are three sigma bond and no lone pair therefore the steric number is 3 if steric number is 3 guys hybridization has to be sp2 isn't it done now let us look for nitrogen guys again do the same practice draw its lewis symbol draw its lewis symbol done now there are guys there are nh4 plus nh4 plus guys remember there are four hydrogen okay four hydrogen remember that one h is as h plus so guys these two both these two electron will be donated to this hydrogen now how many sigma bond it has Four guys, steric number is equal to four because there is no lone pair left on nitrogen anymore. So here, steric number is four, guys. Therefore, the hybridization has to be sp three. Is that okay? Hybridization will be sp three. Done, guys. So here, here the correct option is, guys. Correct option is. Hybridization of atomic orbital of nitrogen in NO two plus is sp. done followed by no3 minus is sp2 followed by nh4 plus sp3 therefore the correct answer over here is c hope it is clear come on have a look at the screen for a moment that's very nice of you so nice to have you all here on the screen come on that's very very nice of you guys yes you are on the screen if you are there in the chat box that means you are there on the screen i mean mentally you are there on the screen that's very nice of you come on have a look at the next question we have the next question here on the screen is which of the following pair of ion is iso electronic and iso structural let me tell you the meaning of iso electronic guys iso electronic means same number of electron same number of electron iso structural means same structure iso structural means same structure done have a look at the screen so which of the following pair of ions are having same number of electron as well as iso structural okay so let us do this one by one i have told you how to make out the structure isn't it so guys co3 minus let us do this co3 two minus then then guys what co3 two minus then so3 two minus then 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 what is there we have clo3 minus and we have c sorry we have we have n n o3 minus simply write it down like this then we have no3 minus okay come on guys total number of electron this has 6 for carbon and 8 threes are 24 for what yes guys 8 threes are 24 for oxygen so it is 30 with a negative charge guys negative charge is 2 minus so total electron has to be here 32 done now that of that of clo3 minus guys 17 electrons for chlorine and 8 threes are 24 for oxygen with with guys one more electron due to minus charge so total electron here is 42 done now let us see here guys sulfur has guys sulfur has yes 16 electron plus 8 is 
done okay guys and two electrons because of this negative charge so this has 42 electron now that of no3 minus nitrogen has 7 electron oxygen has 24 electron with a negative charge total 32 electron so it is very clear from here that co32 minus that is carbonate and no3 minus nitrate carbonate and nitrate are isoelectronic whereas sulfite guys sulfite and chlorate they have 42 electron done now we have to see the structure let me change the color of the pen here first of all guys carbonate so simple guys guys carbon will have four four valence electron as it has remember this negative charge because this has this is actually an acidic radical coming from an acid so this negative charge has to go on oxygen remember the trick okay guys so so here guys there will be two oxygen with a negative charge that is valency one simply connect it now these two electron will be given to oxygen okay one sigma and one pi simple so guys here 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 will be here will be what come on have a look here so here there would be a formation of double bond we need to count only one so sigma 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 can you tell me the steric number here yes steric number is two hybridization has to be sp2 guys 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 hybridization has to be sp2 therefore this has to be trigonal planar trigonal planar shape has to be trigonal planar done now guys let us see for this no3 minus no3 minus again draw the structure nitrogen with same trick guys same trick complete its right its lewis symbol okay then one of the oxygen will be negative charge and the rest two oxygen will be bonded by a double bond like this so the steric number here is three sigma bond no lone pair so three come on hybridization has to be sp2 so this will also have trigonal planar that means carbonate and nitrate are isostructural and and isoelectronic carbonate and nitrate remember guys co3 2 minus and no3 minus are isoelectronic clear done let us go ahead now let us go ahead for the next one guys let us compare this sulfite and chlorine okay so guys here again do the same practice chlorine with seven valence electrons so lewis symbol of chlorine O minus. Now these two will be given to oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. So steric number is 4. Hybridization is sp3. Done. Now let us compare this sulfite ion, guys. Sulfur, valence electron 6. Done. Guys, 3 oxygen, where 2 oxygen are negatively charged. Simply O minus, O minus. Done and one oxygen will go ahead with a double bond is that clear clear guys is that clear come on do let me know is that clear guys guys there is a mistake over here there were only three oxygen so this will remain left as what this will remain left as a lone pair here only three oxygen done so we have steric number one, two, three, three sigma bond and one lone pair. Yes, steric number four. No problem. Hybridization is sp3. But with a lone pair, guys, hybridization is sp3, though geometry is tetrahedral, but there is a lone pair. Therefore, this will have, this will have due to the lone pair, guys. What is the shape? Can you tell me? It's not at all planar. Remember, guys, steric number is force hybridization has to be sp3 the expected shape has to be tetrahedral but due to the lone pair present on chlorine it will be what pyramidal it will be pyramidal guys now look at this one so guys here sigma 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 and lone pair so steric number here also four steric number four guys 
Steric number four means hybridization is sp3 means dormitory is tetrahedral. But again, there is a lone pair. There is a lone pair, guys. So because of that, its shape has to be pyramidal. So this and chloride both are isostructural as well as isoelectronic. Done. Is that clear? Is that clear, guys? So A and D both are correct, guys. A and D here both are correct. I hope you got it. Come on, all those who are watching, do share the link of the session to your friends who are preparing for NEET 2021, KVPY 2022, NEET 2022 board examination. Do share the link. And come on, guys, that's really nice of you all for replying. That's really great of you. That's wonderful, guys. Come on, have a look at the screen. So we have the next question. Which of the following species contains equal number of sigma and pi bond? Done. Which of the following species contains equal number of sigma and pi bonds? Let us see. Let us see, guys. Equal number of sigma and pi bond. For this, again, you need to write down their structure. Let us write it first of all by carbonate ion. HCO3 minus. Guys, the central atom is carbon. Simple. See, I'm telling you the step, guys, easiest step so that you will not have any problem in writing down their structure. First of all, just complete their Lewis symbol of central atom. Done. Now, guys, now out of this, remember HCO3 is there. This hydrogen, this is an acid. So hydrogen, guys, in case of bicarbonate, cannot be directly attached to carbon. Remember. So this, let this oxygen be attached to this by single bond, then that has to be attached further with a hydrogen atom. All clear? Now it is CHCO3 minus. So one oxygen has to be negatively charged. So we'll be taking one electron from carbon and the left oxygen will be doubly bonded to this carbon. Now count the sigma bonded electron. So steric number is three. Guys, there is no lone pair. So, steric number is 3. Okay, but we don't have to calculate hybridization over here. But I am just telling you the trick. So, that if hybridization will be coming, you should not face any problem. You can easily do. This question is very simple. They have only asked equal number of sigma and pi bond. So, simply count the pi, sigma and pi bond, guys. There are how many sigma bond over here? Yes, guys, this is also sigma. So, 3 is uh, uh, like 3 sigma bond present on carbon and 1 is here. So, 3 plus 1. Total 4 sigma bond and 1 pi bond. Clear? Now, let us see the case of XeO4. Guys, guys, guys. XeO4 again complete the Lewis symbol. Is that clear? Oxygen is doubly bonded. Oxygen valency is 2. So, simply give 2, 2 electron, 2 oxygen. What is it left with? It is left with only 4 sigma bond. 4 sigma bond and 4 pi bond. Done. Simple. Very simple, isn't it? Now, guys, we, we have disinogen. Come on. CN minus ion behave as pseudo halogen. So they form diatomic, uh, I mean, uh, here tetraatomic, of course, but they just join as the diatomic gases of halogen, Cl2 and all, Br2, I2. Okay, they behave as pseudo halogens. So that is disinogen. How it is attached, guys? It is attached this way. Now, the valency of nitrogen is how much? 3, 3, done. So, guys, how many sigma and pi bond? Sigma, sigma, sigma and rest are pi. Therefore, 3 sigma and 1, 2, 3, 4. Guys, 4 pi bond, isn't it? I hope there is. there should not be any problem over here. Now, let us look for this, guys. CH2. CN hole twice. Guys, guys, guys. CH2, CN hole twice. So we have three carbon atoms over here. So simply in this disinogen, you need to put one more carbon in the center. Like this. Done. Done. So sigma, 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 
sigma, sigma, sigma. 4 plus 2, 6 sigma. And how many pi, guys? 4 pi bond. That very simple, guys. This was asked in CBSC AI PMT 2015. Okay, so guys, even if hybridization is asked, simply go for the calculation of steric number. And I've already told you which steric number stands for which hybridization. Okay, shall we go ahead? That's very nice of you guys. Come on, it's really nice to, to see you all here. Come on, have a look at the screen for the next question. So we have the next question, which of the following pair of ions are isoelectronic and isostructural? This question was also like, see guys, these type of questions are being frequently asked. This was also asked in CBSC AI PMT 2015. Have a look at the screen. I told you how it is to be done. First of all, guys, carbonate and sulfide and simply complete the Lewis symbol. I told you guys these are what these are acidic radicals of acid. So what you need to do simply this negative charge will go on oxygen. Remember don't do this mistake. First of all complete the valency of carbon. I mean how to First of all, write down the Lewis symbol. Then you have to complete the valency of carbon. Remember guys, there are two oxygen with negatively charged simply with valency one. Then and the rest one will have a doubly bonded carbon atom. Here sulfur again the negative charge has to be present on oxygen. So complete the Lewis symbol guys. Complete the Lewis symbol of. Yes, write down the Lewis symbol of sulfur. Sulfur has. 6 valence electron. Now these two will go to O minus. This will go to oxygen. This will remain as it is as a lone pair. Done. Now calculate the hybridization that can be done by calculating the steric number. 3 sigma bond. So steric number is 2. So hybridization here in case of carbonate ion is sp2. Now here sigma 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 guys 3 sigma 1 lone pair. What is the steric number? 4. So hybridization here is sp3 with a lone pair. So tetrahedral geometry with a lone pair will have what shape? Pyramidal. And this will have trigonal planar. So are they isostructural? No. So first of all, we need to calculate isostructural. Once isostructural is done, we'll go for the calculation of isoelectronic. And this is how you can save time in your examination. Okay. First of all, let us see whether they are isostructural or not. If isostructural, then we will waste, I, I mean, use our time to find out whether they are isoelectronic or not. Isn't it, guys? This is how you should think to save your time in the exam so that you can give that useful, precious time to other questions. Isn't it? Come on, let us have a look for B. So, guys, B is ClO3 minus and carbonate ion. Done. First of all, one more thing you also can do, guys. One more thing you also can do over here. Guys, chlorine, oxygen. There are three oxygen, three oxygen. Done. Then because of oxygen, same number of electrons. But chlorine, one side is chlorine, one side is carbon. Can it be isostructural? So, no need to go for such calculation again. Okay, here also guys, this is carbon, this is sulfur. This is how you can think to waste, I mean, save your time. So, these cannot be isoelectronic because their periods are different guys. Done. So, just ignore this. Okay, overrule this. Same with C. This also cannot be possible because sulfur and nitrogen, both of them belong to different period. So we need to do, we need not to go into that one. Okay. So guys, let us look for D then. D has ClO3 minus SO32 minus. This can be isoelectronic because they belong to the same period. Remember guys, if, if they belong to same period, but one is fluorine, the other one is sodium, kind of now then you need to go for the calculation, remember. Okay, because they also, chances are there, they can be isoelectronic. Because F minus and Na plus, they have got 10 electrons. That way you need to think for that. Come on, let us look here. Guys, SO3 2 minus, we have already calculated. Its shape is pyramidal hybridization is SP3. Let us calculate for ClO3 minus. Guys, write down its Lewis symbol as we have been doing. Then O minus, 
okay then these two valency will go to oxygen these two will go to oxygen left with a lone pair steric number four hybridization sp3 expected geometry tetrahedral due to the lone pair the shape shape has to be pyramidal hope you are not not getting confused over here so guys remember we need to think as like along with the uh, you know clicking the question correctly we need to think for saving the time as well done let us go ahead now the next question which of the following option represents the correct bond order that's very simple let us calculate this guys correct bond order so first of all write down the orbital electronic configuration for mo mo or molecular orbitals mo for molecular orbital okay guys o2 minus there are total 8 plus 2 16 plus 1 17 electron done so so guys the orbital molecular orbital electronic configuration will be written as sigma 1 s2 done comma sigma star 1 s2 comma sigma 2 s2 comma sigma star 2 s2 comma sigma 2 pz2 guys count keep counting the number of electron as well done comma pi 2 p x2 equals to pi 2 p what yes pi 2 p y2 okay then guys then they, they have same energy then pi star 2 p x 1 pi star 2 p x sorry this will be 2 p y 1 so we have 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 plus 2 8 plus 2 how much 10 12 13 14 15 16 but as it is o uh, 2 minus so that will have one more electron this this electron can be either here or it can be either here remember okay guys okay now now guys how to calculate the bond order because we have to compare the bond order over here total number of electron in bonding molecular orbital and that is how much this is bonding molecular orbital 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10 minus 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 by 2 3 by 2 that is 1.5 done is that clear come on now need not to draw for everything guys simply keep saving your time guys o2 o2 will have only one electron over here so the bond order has to be in case of o2 it has to be 10 minus 6 by 2 that is 4 by 2 that is 2 okay now we have to calculate the bond order for o2 plus as simple as that guys if it is o2 there were one one electron if it is o2 plus there would be only one electron which can either go to 2px or which can either go to 2py that means bond order has to be calculated by guys 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 remember the number of electron is decreasing in anti bonding molecular orbital bonding molecular orbital will have 10 minus minus how much 5 because one electron is less in this anti bonding molecular orbital divided by 2 that is 2.5 done so guys which has the maximum bond order it is o2 plus followed by o2 followed by o2 minus therefore guys which option is correct over here o2 minus o2 and o2 plus done as o2 minus o2 o2 plus both b and d option are same done both b and d option are same here all the options are same o2 minus o2 o2 plus o2 minus o2 o2 plus okay guys here all the options are same that is all by mistake okay make it 2 minus and then make this make this what 2 plus okay so 
D is the correct option. In order to make this correct option, this has to be O22 minus O2 minus. Okay, O22 minus. And this, let this, this be. No, let this be something else. Okay, guys, sorry by mistake. This, uh, I mean, all the options are taken same. I hope you guys are going to ignore the option. Come on, this is the correct over here. Then let us look for the next question. So here BE2 plus is isoelectronic with which of the following? Guys, BE, atomic number is 4. Then if it is 2 plus, BE has 2 electron. In first uh, shell, 1s2, 2s2 guys. Then, but if it is BE2 plus, obviously the balance, balance electron will be lost and it is going to be left with two electron. Now it is isoelectronic with which of the following ions? Let us see how many electrons they all have. Pro H plus proton, this has no electron. This has only one proton, guys. Even this has no nucleus as well. Come on, Li plus, guys. Li plus atomic number is three. 1s2, 2s1, guys. Okay, so Li plus is there, guys. So this will be lost. It will left with two electron. Now, Na plus, guys, atomic number is 11. Na plus means it has lost one electron. So it is left with 10 electron. Mg2 plus is also left with because it, atomic number is 12. Mg2 plus will be left with 10 electrons. So it is lithium, which is isoelectronic with Be2 plus. Done. Now the next question, guys, which of the following molecule has maximum dipole moment? Come on, all those who are watching, do share the link of the session to all your friends who are preparing for NEET 2021, 2022. Come on, come on, without delay. And also preparing for board examination and KBPY. Which of the following has maximum dipole moment? Come on, guys, you need to look for their, yes, shape. Guys, this is a linear one where you can see the bond moment of these uh, CO, 2 CO are equal and opposite, therefore will be getting cancelled. Come on guys, the dipole moment of completely symmetrical molecule with identical bond is 0. So here also CH4, identical bond guys. It is completely symmetrical molecule. Done. So this dipole moment also has to be zero now the case of nh3 guys remember lone pair the dipole moment is always directed to away from the atom when when dipole moment of lone pair electron done guys here nitrogen is more electronegative so the bond moment is directed towards nitrogen okay guys so all of them are added up to the same direction guys therefore therefore this will have very high dipole moment now we have to compare this with respect to nf3 because the first two has zero there is no comparison with them just now i told you guys the lone uh, this dipole moment of the lone pair is directed away from the atom so this will be directed in this way but fluorine is more electron negative than nitrogen therefore what the bond moment uh, the resultant dipole moment has to be directed this way so guys this has to be subtracted from this one is that clear because both of them lie opposite to each other that's really really absolutely correct wonderful guys so nice to have you and your responses come on have a look at the screen so here guys here the dipole moment of nh3 has to be has to be equal to suppose this dipole moment is say nf3 so guys, no doubt it is to be the dipole moment here has to be equal to what the resultant dipole moment of this one will be done. This has to be greater than NF3 because in NF3, the bond moment like lone pair dipole moment due to lone pair is opposite to that of the resultant dipole moment over here. So out of all guys, NH3 is going to have maximum dipole moment. Hope it is clear. Come on. Come on. All those who are watching, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to share the video to all your friends who are preparing for NEET 2021-2022 KVPY. 
board exams. Yes. Come on, have a look at the next question. In which of the following bond angle is maximum? Guys, we have the question in which of the following the bond angle is maximum. Come on. NH3 with a lone pair. Guys, VACPR, lone pair, lone pair repulsion is going to be maximum. Then lone pair, bond pair, further maximum than bond pair, bond pair. So here, guys, expected, I mean, geometry is tetrahedral, but the shape is pyramidal. So the bond angle has to be less than the expected tetrahedral angle. And that is 107 degree. That is 107 degree. Now, in case of NH4 plus, guys, this lone pair on this is given to, guys, H plus like this so guys this hybridization is sp3 and the usual bond angle is 109 degree 28 minute done let us see the case of pcl3 guys pcl3 with a lone pair over here steric number i told you to find out steric number in order to find the hybridization so here the hybridization is sp3 with a lone pair so guys it is it is what it is kind of yes what expect what is expected over here it is expected that it should be equal to nh3 but remember guys due to bent rule chlorine guys chlorine this chlorine is going to be present little bit far from each other yes yes here what will happen because lone pair is also there guys done lone pair are also there so what is the scenario in this case guys yes Come on, do let me know. Yes, guys, if you apply bent rule, guys, chlorine being more electronegative, it is going to attract the lone pair, I mean bonded pair of electron towards itself. So the repulsion over the electron pair present on phosphorus has to be lesser. So the angle will be even lesser than that. Done. This angle here, the bond angle is less than, less than that is present in NH3 due to bent rule, remember. And that of SCL2, guys, SCL2, yes, draw that. What? Lewis symbol, 1CL, 1CL, steric number 1, 2, 3, 4, sp3. Guys, guys, water molecule, do you remember? Yes, lone pair roll pair repulsion is going to be maximum. Therefore, that will that will push this bond even closer to each other. So the bond angle can never be 107. It will always be even lesser than that. So here, guys, the bond angle is maximum in case of NH4 plus. Remember, the bond angle is going to be maximum in case of NH4 plus. Hope it is clear. Hope it is clear. Come on, have a look at the screen. This question was asked in CBSE IPMT 2001. And remember, guys, this question includes VACPR comparison. Hybridization is also there. And bent rule is also there, isn't it? So need to be very careful. You need to have a lot of practice. Only clearing the theory will not help you, guys. After clearing the theory, after completing the topic, there is a lot to, lot to practice over it. Okay? Come on, have a look at the next question. Among the following, I am the P pi, D pi overlap could be present in. Come on, guys. I'm going to give you the easiest trick to find out uh, like type of bond, whether the pi bond is P pi, P pi, or the pi bond is P pi, D pi. Come on, I'm really going to give you the easiest possible trick over here. Look for the nitrogen. As I told you, complete the Lewis symbol. Okay, you can draw it the way you want, no problem. Come on, because this is not the ideal one. We are doing this just for the purpose of rough work. Okay, guys, so NO2 minus is there. Guys, if NO2 minus is there, that means what? That means what, guys? Yes, have a look here at the screen, guys. NO2 minus, that means it will have, guys, it will have what? One electron with O minus. I mean, one electron will bonded to O minus. Done. Because NO2 is uh, minus is an acidic radical coming from HNO2. So O minus. And the other two is being given to oxygen with a double bond. 
clear so there is this p pi p pi guys nitrogen has no vacant d orbital oxygen same so the possibility for this p pi p pi i mean p pi p pi this pi bond the possibility is that it is p pi p pi not possibility it is actually p pi p pi that as long as like remember guys if the even the central atom or the peripheral atom they belong to uh, belong to second period the chances of d pi is not at all so simply by looking at the option you can ignore them you can come to the conclusion you can jump on the conclusion yes that this can not have p pi d pi bonding over here done here also this cannot have now the possibility is only with the this PO4 3 minus phosphate ion. Now let me explain you how to do that. First of all, guys, complete the Lewis symbol of phosphorus. Yes, five electrons, valence electrons done. Now, guys, PO4 3 minus, so three oxygen are in. Yes, O minus, so they will be singly bonded to each other. Guys, 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 there is a lone pair electron over here. You can see. Now find out the steric number. Steric number is 1, 2, 3, 4. Steric number is 4. So hybridization has to be sp3. Remember, steric number is 4. Guys, so hybridization is what? sp3. Remember. Now, now guys, this will be bonded. No doubt, this is doubly bonded to the oxygen. So, guys, this uh, one is sigma, the other one is pi. So, what is the possibility for this pi bonding? Now, tell me, the all the p orbital are involved over here in sp3 hybridization. There is no p orbital left on phosphorus. No p which orbital? Guys, no 3p orbital is left over phosphorus, which can, which can form pi bond with this oxygen that means what that means the d orbital d orbital of phosphorus will form pi bond with that of oxygen oxygen is a second period element will have only tendency to form p pi bonding done so simply draw the lewis symbol draw uh, I mean, calculate the steric number, find out the hybridization, and look whether any pre or vital present in the same shell, okay, which is participating in the hybridization. If any p or vital along with that is left over there, then that will, uh, you know, involve in formation of a pi bond. Otherwise, simply d pi. Done. But if it is a second period element, it has a tendency to form only p pi p pi bonding. Done. Hope it is clear, guys. Let us go ahead for the next question, guys. Let us go ahead for the next question. The relationship, guys, the next question on the screen is the relationship between the dissociation energy of N2 and N2 plus is. Come on. How to solve such questions, guys? Remember, calculate the bond order. Done. Bond order is inversely proportional to bond energy. Done. More the bond order, less will be the bond energy. Am I right? No, I am not at all right. Guys, guys, this will relate it to bond length. Done. Bond length. Remember, more the bond order less will be the bond length and closer the bond length means more is the extent of overlapping more is the extent of overlapping means more energy is required to break the bond therefore bond order and bond energy are related to each other directly so guys more the bond order more will be the bond energy why bond energy is more because if bond order are more the atoms are much closer to each other that is bond length is less or extent of overlapping is more. If extent of overlapping is more, more energy is required to break the bond. That means more will be the bond energy. So remember bond order is directly proportional to bond energy. Done. Simply look for the bond order of them. The one which is having more bond order will have more bond energy or will, will require more dissociation energy. Bond energy is actually dissociation energy. Bond dissociation 
एनर्जी डन इधर एनर्जी इज रिलीज ड्यूरिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ बॉन्ड और एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड टू ब्रेक द बॉन्ड सेम गाइस मैग्नीट्यूड वाइज दे आर सेम इफ गिवन टू द सिस्टम प्लस रिलीज फ्रॉम द सिस्टम माइनस ओनली द साइन हैज टू बी डिफरेंट रिमेंबर कम ऑन हैव अ लुक एट द स्क्रीन so let us calculate guys let us calculate i mean let us calculate the bond order 14 electron guys write down what molecular orbital electronic configuration sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 then guys remember guys remember this is what sp mixing case guys and sp mixing case takes place in all species having electron less than equal to 14 so there would be sp mixing over here so the next electron will be going into pi 2p y pi 2p x Done. How many electron, guys? Two to each. Then, then, guys, what? Then this has to be sigma two p z two electron. So two 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 fourteen electrons are already over there. Now bonding molecular orbital are these one. so total number of electron in bonding molecular orbital is 10 and anti bonding molecular orbital is 4 is to be divided by 2 so it is 6 by 2 that is 3 so in case of n2 guys the bond order is 3 now that of n2 plus let us calculate the bond order for n2 plus guys if it is n2 plus means it is going to have one electron lesser in the in the highest occupied molecular orbital over here homo orbital isn't it so guys we have total number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital in this case will be 9 and in anti bonding molecular orbital the electron will remain same so it is 9 minus 4 by 2 that is 5 by 2 so the bond order is 2.5 done now which has more bond order of course n2 n2 has more bond order therefore bond dissociation energy of n2 has to be greater than n2 plus so guys so the dissociation energy of n2 has to be more than n2 plus now let me know the correct answer over here dissociation energy of n2 will be more than dissociation energy of n2 plus so c is the correct answer here done Now the next question, guys. The number of anti-bonding electron pair in O two two minus peroxide ion molecular ion is on the basis of molecular orbital theory is anti-bonding electron pairs where atomic number is eight. No doubt, no. So very simple. Simply write down molecular orbital electronic configuration, guys. O two two minus. Can you tell me the total electron? It to the sixteen plus two minus. That is total. It has eighteen electron. Clear. Total. It has eighteen electron. Done. So what you have to do over here, guys? Simply, simply write down its MOT. Okay. Molecular or vital electronic configuration. No problem. Simply go ahead for that. So guys, it is O two two minus. That will be one s two sigma one s two. Sigma star one s two, sigma two s two, sigma star two s two, done. Then then what guys? Then sigma two p x two, then yes two p. Let it be z. Okay. Then pi two p x equals to pi two p y. Then both of them will have two two electrons each. Then guys, then pi star two p x equals to pi star two p y, and they have how much electron, guys? Because we have eighteen electron. Two plus two four plus two six plus two eight ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen. 
so guys actually we pair up like first of all one electron one electron then two electron so guys total 18 electrons are used up now we have to find number of anti-bonding electron pairs in so guys here here number of anti-bonding electron pairs are how much can you tell me yes guys these are anti-bonding electron pairs isn't it and that is how much four okay so you need to first of all you need to write down the or molecular orbital electronic configuration done and then you can straight away just by looking at the values over there you can answer this so the number of anti bonding electron pair here is four done guys this was asked in cbsc ai pmt 1998 that's very nice of you all guys come on come on do share the link of the session to all your friends who are preparing for neat 2021-2022 KVPY board examination without delay. That's really nice of you all, guys. Wonderful. So nice to have you all here. Come on. The next question on the screen. The molecule which does not exhibit dipole moment is. Just now I told you, find out, just draw the Lewis symbol, find out the steric number. Done here. So, does not exhibit dipole moment. Okay, write down the structure here. Guys, 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 dipole moment. This bonded pair of electrons are directed towards this. Nitrogen is more electronegative. So, guys, the resultant dipole moment will be in this direction. This will have dipole moment. Done. Let us see the case of C, H. Okay, guys. So, first of all, Lewis symbol. Lewis symbol, then the structure. Done. That will give you the shape. Okay, guys. That will give you the geometry followed by shape if there is any lone pair. So, guys, here, here, the steric number is 4. So, the geometry is sp3. Shape is tetrahedral. Done. That's all you have to do in order to find out the dipole moment. Directly, don't jump. Don't jump to the conclusion. Okay, guys. Okay, come on. These are directed towards chlorine this is directed towards hydrogen so here the resultant dipole moment is in this direction isn't it so this will also have some dipole moment of course now let us look for water two lone pair oxygen is more electronegative all these will be added up in this direction so this will also have dipole moment let us look for ccl4 guys direct number four Yes, hybridization sp3, geometry tetrahedral. This chlorine, guys. Remember, the resultant will be in this direction for this. And this will be in this direction, guys. So, equal and opposite. So, guys, the net resultant dipole moment has to be zero over here. Though the CCL bond is polar. Guys, bond moment is there. But net dipole moment or the resultant dipole moment is zero. So, carbon tetrachloride does not exhibit dipole moment because of, because of the addition, guys, vector addition of the bond moment over here. Come on, this question was asked in CBSC AIPMT 1997 and such questions have been asked so far. That's very nice of you all, dear. Come on, that's really wonderful of you. Very good. Great. Look at the screen. So, we have for two ionic solids, calcium oxide and potassium iodide, identify the wrong statement among the following. This question was asked in CBSC AI PMT 1997. Remember. Remember, guys, this is one of the very good question. Two ionic solids are there, calcium oxide and Ki. Okay, guys, both of them are ionic. Identify the wrong statement. Guys, lattice energy of calcium oxide is much more larger than that of Ki. Or Ki is soluble in benzene. Or Ki has lower melting point. Calcium oxide has higher melting point. Come on, guys. Ionic solids. The characteristics of ionic solids is, first of all, they do not dissolve in. They do not dissolve in non-polar solvents. Like dissolve like, they do dissolve in polar solvent. Polar solvent like water. So, they do not dissolve in benzene. Remember, they have high melting point. Then they have high boiling point. Because a lot of energy is required to break the electrostatic force of attraction. They have very high lattice energy. 
done now ki i is ionic compound so it is not soluble in soluble in non polar solvent remember guys remember dipole moment for benzene is zero that is a non polar solvent so so guys identify the wrong statement over here come on lattice energy of calcium oxide is much higher than that of ki this is true because lattice energy is directly proportional to the charges guys q1 and q2 it is directly proportional to the charges now calcium has 2 plus that is q1 and 2 minus that is q2 whereas ki plus 1 and minus 1 so this statement is correct ki is soluble in benzene not at all because benzene is a non polar solvent ki has lower melting point guys 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 ki has lower melting point this statement is also wrong remember so guys b and c both are wrong here now now calcium oxide has higher melting point of course that has to be because it is a an ionic compound so first a and d are correct but we have to uh, look for wrong statement so guys b and c are wrong done hope it is clear come on that's very nice of you all all those who are watching do share the link do like the video if you have not done and yes all those watching there if you have not subscribed the channel so far do so if you have not pressed the bell icon so far please do so have a look at the next question guys the high density of water compared to ice is due to remember remember guys if you talk about water vapor water vapor water is simply a bent molecule like this where different water molecules are having only what they only have wander walls force of attraction if it is what if it is vapor form and if it goes into liquid form guys each water molecule is surrounded by four water molecule so each water molecule is actually tetrahedrally surrounded by what surrounded by four water molecule with the help of hydrogen bond intermolecular hydrogen bond i for inter m for molecular h for hydrogen bond but but during the ice formation this is water guys remember during the ice formation actually water molecule get arranged in a cage like structure guys let me draw the cage like structure over here <laughs> guys in ice the water molecule are actually actually present as shown on the screen so due to hydrogen bonding each water molecule this a cage like structure you can see that lot of space is occupied lot of space is occupied by same amount of lot of space by ice for same amount of water and ice guys therefore guys volume for a given mass of ice and water volume of ice is much more than the volume of water therefore guys density of ice has to be lesser than density of water and that is the reason ice floats on the surface of water but it is all possible due to what due to hydrogen bonding isn't it guys therefore the correct answer over here is a hydrogen bonding interaction this was asked in aipmt 1997 but such questions have been asked so guys 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 this batch is going to start on 23rd of december abhyas batch do join this if you want to prepare for medical entrance examination with top educator come on the mentors are going to be anmol sir gorav sir pankaj sir sashi sir do join them do join them do join them do join the batch if you really want to ensure your success for neet 2021 going to start on december 23rd come on guys thanks a lot for watching
Thanks a lot for watching. If you have not liked the video so far, do like the video. Do take the subscription applying this referral code of mine. And all those who have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel. Do press the bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye-bye for now.